The WHA's inaugural season had 12 teams in two divisions. But that did not include the Miami Screaming Eagles of lore and one North American odyssey that started before the first puck dropped with the Calgary Broncos. They continued as the Cleveland Crusaders, then as the Dayton Arrows, who became the Houston Arrows, the Los Angeles Aces, the Los Angeles Sharks, and the San Francisco Seahawks that finally became the Quebec Nordiques. And way back when, blocked out of NHL buildings, the WHA had to make do with some less than professional circumstances like the notorious Philadelphia Convention Hall, where the ice was so cracked on opening night that the Zamboni fell through the ice and the game and Derek Turk Sanderson's WHA debut were canceled. In the league's second season, the struggling Philadelphia Blazers moved to Vancouver and the Ottawa Nationals limped into Toronto's Varsity Arena as the Toronto Toros. For branding reasons, the New York Raiders became the metrosexual Golden Blades and then went by coastal across the Hudson River to become the New Jersey Knights. Other than that, the league soldiered on. In the WHA's third season, a Canadian division was siphoned off with Vancouver, Toronto, Quebec, Edmonton, and Winnipeg. But the L.A. Sharks were turned east to become the Michigan Stags and the Baltimore Blades. But say goodbye to the New Jersey Golden Knights, or whoever they were. In their place came the Indianapolis Racers, San Diego Mariners, the Phoenix Roadrunners. Ah, the Gay Blades, gone, but not remembered. In the fourth year, we finally bid adieu to the Blazers, who became the Calgary Cowboys, featuring not Cowboy Bill Flett, but Danny Lawson. The Chicago Cougars left the Windy City. They became the Cincinnati Stingers, and Baltimore became the Denver Spurs. That midseason became yet another Ottawa franchise. Say hello to the Civics. Oh, it's hard to believe that the Cleveland Crusaders lasted as long as they did, but they left just as the two-season Cleveland Barons checked into the NHL. We also said goodbye to whatever that was in Ottawa, and the Toros leave Maple Leaf Gardens for Birmingham, taking with him one Frank Mahovlich, the Big M, entering his 21st season in professional hockey. And then there were 12. With talk of a merger with the NHL and steam starting to run out, the league pared down to just eight teams in its next to last season. Say goodbye, fans, to Phoenix, San Diego, Calgary, and all the fight went out of the Minnesota Fighting Saints and that famous arena with the clear boards. Let's call it six and change teams remaining in the final year of the WHA. Nelson Scalvania's Indy Racers did have a kid on their team named Gretzky before they died in their own skid marks after 25 games. But you have to give ownership in Cincinnati and Birmingham credit for keeping the lights on for a full season, knowing that at the end of the season, so would their fans' experience with professional hockey, as served up by the gone but certainly not forgotten World Hockey Association.